So beta rotation is a property of reducing sugars that leads to a transition between different anomers. So in this case, we have a beta D-glucopyranose. We know that because the beta is on the al alcohol here at the anomeric position. It's on the same side as the tail. So this is a beta D-glucopyranose. And this can become alpha if we allow it to react in an acidic environment. And basic environments work too, I'm just going to do this one acidic. And so what we need to do here, if we're going to do meter rotation, we need to protonate at the stronger base, which is the hydroxyl group instead of the ether. And it's going to be easy for us to do that. We can just use the lone pair to attack H3O+. It's going to become protonated. So I'm just going to leave the stuff off here so it's easier to see. So now we have a water leaving group. Of course, we could always just go backwards. Um, that doesn't get us anywhere. And so now what we want to do is to force it off with the intermolecular push to displace the water. Now that's going to make a double bond here between the oxygen. So we end up with this intermediate. It's called an oxonium. Okay. And our water, of course, is free floating. So that intermediate can do a number of things. Now, mutal rotation is when the water is going to come on the other side. I'm going to switch pages for you. So I'll redraw our oxonium. And we have our water. Now, the attack is pretty much just the, the elimination in reverse. So I want to make, switch this to an alpha D-glucopyranose. And remember, our tail was actually here. So I'm going to make an alpha. The OH needs to be opposite of where the tail is, so it needs to come in from the bottom. And we can do that pretty easily to give charge back to the oxygen, which it wants in the first place. It doesn't like that positive charge. And that'll give us a one more intermediate here. I'll draw the tail so you can see the alpha. And another water can come along to regenerate our acid catalyst. And then we end up with a beautiful little alpha D glucopyranose. And I'll even draw on all the all the other groups, how's that? Done. Alpha D glucopyranose. You know it's alpha because they're opposite sides and it's glucose because it's right, left, right, right. Uh, there you go.